Dear brothers, dear sisters, as you look back on your last uh, two months of experience in confinement, uh, you've rediscovered, we've all rediscovered uh, the time for personal prayer, the importance of personal prayer, the importance of uh, praying in the family, family prayer. And what we've learned, what you've learned during that time, the, during those last two months, how do you continue? How do you continue praying as a person? How do you continue praying as a family? Because once the doors of the churches are open, it doesn't mean that personal prayer or family prayer becomes less important. It's always important. Personal prayer is important because we exist in front of God as a child of God. Uh, and as a family, uh, praying in the family, within the family, family prayer is important because the family exists in front of God as a community of love and of faith. And so how to, go to pray in the family is very important. To continue praying as a family is very important. So as uh, the churches, we're looking at the future, the churches, the doors of the churches, uh, as they open, will we keep going on praying as a person and as a family? So I invite you to, to plan ahead, to look ahead, ask yourselves, how am I going to continue to pray for, as a person? How are we going to continue to pray as a family, to give time to prayer as a family? It's a very important question because what we've rediscovered during this pandemic, it's not about losing, it's about keeping what we've learned. It's been a time of trial, but at the same time, we've learned things about ourselves, about our family, about society. So what we've learned through that pandemic, how can we continue to profit from it? So we've learned to pray personally as a person, we've learned to pray as a family, so what can we do to continue praying as a person and as a family?